when stolen firearms are too high risk and prized ghost guns are out of reach. Some criminals head across state lines to Arizona. This is the 1911. This one's a Springfield Armory MC operator. Most popular firearm in America. It's been around since 1911 in service to the US military to this day. Wonderful gun to shoot. Shooter's World is a gun store with one of the largest firing ranges in Arizona. Here, state law means guns are more readily available than in other American states. Arizona is considered one of the more liberal states when it comes to gun laws. You can own pretty much everything that's available to the civilian market. This is the AR-15. It's running a holographic sight on top. Makes aiming a little bit easier, a little bit faster to actually get on your target. People love them, very little recoil. I've seen eight-year-olds shoot this rifle with no problem whatsoever, obviously under adult supervision. The AR-15 is based on a military design and is available to any customer who fills out the right paperwork. To purchase a rifle in Arizona, uh, you do have to have a valid Arizona state ID with a current address on it. If you cannot prove a current address, we legally cannot sell you a firearm, nor will we sell you a firearm. But criminals still target stores like these for legitimate guns. We're also looking for what's called a straw purchase. A straw purchase is when someone will come in and purchase a firearm for someone else and then just give it to them, which is incredibly illegal. Um, we are in the first line of defense to stop illegal firearm purchases.